Hey, Nat971 A here, uh, continue to work on the Edwin Gray circuit. Uh, what you're looking at there is my dodgy built commutator. Going to quench the bark gap. Got uh, three ceramic magnets each side. And that goes up to... Where does that go to? Goes to my diode, which then goes to some resistors. Then goes to this uh, pin sheet, which then goes to the pancake coil, <laughs> which then goes to some uh, a carbon, uh, so-called carbon uh, resistor as well. I'm trying every everything under the sun here, and then my grids. I've done some dodgy grids, uh, a couple of cans. I'm just chucking everything at it. Um, I did have my thyrotron working, but I think I killed it. Um, it uh, started making screaming noises, uh, like a squelching sort of noise. <laughs> that was quite amusing. Anyway, uh, I uh, replaced the uh, electrodes with some thicker, it was real thick copper on it, so it's probably about, um, probably about half an inch or three eighths or whatever it is. Mm, Alright, so let's turn it on and we'll see what happens. Uh, every time I turn on this circuit, it seems to do something slightly different. Okay, so you can see my quenched spark cap sort of pulsing away there. Uh, safety overshoot is going bananas, and the brass gear there, that's the safety overshoot ground. So I think I, I, I think the way this is meant to work is the the safety overshoot is just the ground connection there, which is not meant to fire, but I, I suspect the negative here is meant to fire. So you can see here I'm getting some uh, really distant power coming through. And uh, surprisingly enough, if you tinker around long enough, you get something happening on the voltmeter. Uh, What's also interesting is I had the grid sitting on top of the pancake coil and that seems to work quite well as well. So, uh, it's a very finely balanced system this. Check out the, check out the safety overshoot. I'm using a